You there. You're lagging behind. Look at the situation around you more closely. Keep your center of gravity in mind when you're firing a gun. If you're aware of the recoil and match its timing, your accuracy will increase greatly. Sergeant Ulrich is very talented. She's quite good at getting the team to work as a cohesive unit. She used to be a teacher. Huh. That explains a lot. Excuse me. I've got a notification from the main army. Hey, we're in the middle of training. Don't enter the premises so recklessly. Oh, so sorry. What would you do if something happened? Be careful. Yes, ma'am. Are you the runner for Vanergand even at Elsinore? It's normally someone else's job, but I requested to switch. Keeping Vanergand up to speed is my sworn duty. <laughs> I see. Then as a member of our squad, you need to be mindful of your appearance, too. You have some bedhead at the back. Huh? Oh, you're right! <laughs> Come here. I'll take a look at it. Well, wait, Miss Bridget. I can do it myself. There. Fixed. Are you hungry? I have some extra ration bread. You should eat. Um, I'm not a little kid anymore. What are you talking about? You're still a child. Now open your mouth. Make sure to bite slowly so you don't choke on it. I know how to eat, you know, and I'm on duty. I'll be taking my leave now. Ah, just a moment. Your shirt is sticking out, too. Tuck it in or you'll catch cold. Stop treating me like a kid. <sighs> and what do you make of that? I don't want to know. <sighs> What's on your mind, Hans? Oh, well, uh... Speak up. Um... How do I become manly like you, Captain? I'm sorry, what? Miss Bridget, she... She treats me like a little baby boy. Huh. Sure, I haven't hit my growth spurt, so I'm not that strong, but... But I'm an adult! And a soldier! I want to know how to get her to see me as a grown-up man. Uh, Captain? Okay. Just leave it to me. You wanted to speak with me, Captain? Why don't we order drinks first? You know that I don't drink, sir. Ah, right. Orange juice, then. Well, that'll be fine. Cheers. Hmm? To what? Whatever you like. That's not acceptable. It's not? It's not. Okay. To Jutland, then. To Jutland. Please don't waste my time. Hmm? What did you want to discuss? I'd like to get this over with ASAP. I'm leaving. Wait, wait. It's important. Very important. Huh? You know, for the squad. So what is it? I'm leaving. It's about Hans. What? I've decided that your behavior toward Hans, it's been a bit much. How do you mean? You treat Hans like a child, more like a baby, really. He's not very comfortable with it. I get that Hans is on the young side and not the toughest of the bunch, 
But he's still a proper soldier, a man. He's a crucial member of the squad. He might not be the fastest runner in Jutland, but no one else attached to the main force understands our team dynamics the same way he does. And? And without him, we wouldn't be able to coordinate with the main force half as well as we do now during missions. I'm just trying to say that we need Hans. He's important. So... I need you to see him as a man. To treat him like a man. I don't want him to lose confidence and make a mistake on the battle... Huh? That's my glass. I thought you didn't drink. <sighs> hey. Shut up! How do you expect me to listen to this without a drop of alcohol in me? Are you... Are you already drunk? That's right. And it's my fault. As usual. Didn't realize you were a mean drunk. Do the others know this about you? Shut your face. You know, you don't know a thing about me. Fair enough. That's right. You don't know anything at all. And here you are saying that I'm overdoing it. Why do I gotta be told that from you? Hans, 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 Hans. You the envoy for the country of Hans or something? Not quite. I just wanted... Then what do you mean? Say it to my face, why don't you? If you don't hurry up, my little friend, it's gonna start smoking. Or are you doing this on purpose because you wanna be a target? That's fine with me. Kneel before me. Come on, do it. <laughs> Where do you want me to shoot you? Tell me. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't draw your gun indoors. Uh, hey, give that back. My gun. Where's my gun? Let me show my gun. Pew, pew. I hate to ask, Barkeep, but could you find someone from our squad? Huh? What do you mean she always gets like this? Hans, I love you. Be my little brother. Little brother? That's right. My little brother. My precious, adorable little brother. Oh. Uh. <laughs> Give it back. Give back that boy to me. <laughs> what now? He was supposed to live happily. That child, he deserved to live. <sighs> Please be happy. I want to be surrounded by happy children. I'll be happy. Bridget. Oh. Check, please. So many. Captain, please forget about yesterday. What about yesterday? Don't play dumb with me. It's regarding my, you know, my disgraceful behavior after I drank. Care to elaborate on that? Are you referring to when you commanded me to kneel? Or perhaps when you tried to discharge your firearm? Or when... You don't have to say that out loud. And forget all of it. Every single thing. Whenever I drink alcohol, I lose myself. That's why I try to avoid drinking. But I couldn't help it yesterday because we were discussing Hans. We can keep this between ourselves. But there is one thing I need to know. What was all the little brother stuff about? <sighs> I had a younger brother. If he were alive today, he would be around Hans's age. Oh. He always had a weak constitution, but the boy sure loved his studies. Said he wanted to become a teacher, like me. He dreamed that both of us would work at the same school. But then... The Empire happened. Right. My brother's illness required a special medicine. Once the blockade started, it became difficult to get a hold of. My brother did his best without it. 
I volunteered for Vanrick and, and thought to spare him by ending the blockade quickly. However, he passed away six months before the war even started. It was frustrating not being able to do anything. My brother suffered before his illness took him. Even though that medicine was easy to obtain in normal times, that's why I hate the Empire. Is that why you fight? For revenge? That too. But my biggest reason is for my students. I fight because I don't want them to die needlessly like my brother, rather than me living for revenge. I'd be happier this way. At least, that's what I think. You know, Hans looks like my brother. That's why I can't help but look after him. I know that he's not my little brother, and that he's not a child. I understand now. I'm sorry. You surprise me. That you'd go so far for Hans, I mean. That's a good trait to have. Who would have known? Like I said, he's crucial to the team. <laughs> okay. Okay. I'll take that as your answer. <laughs>